Hello again everyone, how are you all? Hope you're all well. I'm back again, but with no game this time. Although we do have uh, Last Train to Transcentral playing in the background, if you can hear it. Um, what I have is a story for you. This is a nostalgic little trip for me that I just want to share with you guys. What I have here is Star Chaser, The Legend of Orin. If you've never seen this movie, I highly recommend you go and watching it because it's just... It's a complete blatant Star Wars ripoff, if you couldn't tell from the cover. Um, but where the nostalgia is for me, right? We hired this from the video shop, and this is an X-Rental as well. This is what I really like having this. Uh, this is an X-Rental, and we used to hire these from the video shop. But what my dad used to do is he figured out, because he used to have like copy protection over the, uh, the videos, but he figured out if you recorded it from VHS to Betamax, it cut that out. So all of my movies as I was a kid were all on Betamax. Proper, well, I was having a talk with Sega Zombie earlier today about the actual uh, video player that we played them on. Um, so yeah, just seeing the pictures of that, just m memories come flooding back, I really do. But anyway, I'm, I'm going off topic a little bit here. Reason why this is nostalgic is because we had it copied so we could watch this whenever we wanted you know this is before netflix before youtube before anything else what movies you had is the movies you had and the cartoons and you watched them and watched them and watched them at the beginning of this there was a trailer for a couple of other cartoon movies and i always wanted to watch those movies but never had a chance to uh, i think one of them i may have seen briefly once uh, another one I did watch years and years later. It's a little bit messed up. But I've always wanted to have them in the collection. I've always wanted to, to hunt them down and, and try and find them. So one of the other movies that was on there was this one. Let's switch these out. GoBots Battle of the Rock Lords. Now, that was the first trailer that used to come up. And I see never really was a Transformers fan. But I did like the Rock Lords. I know that sounds a little bit weird because Transformers, everyone loves Transformers. But I remember sitting and watching this movie and thinking, oh, that looks great. And here's the weird thing, right? I went and bought this because I was talking to some people ages ago. And I found this on eBay. I think it was £10. And I went, yes, I want to watch that movie. I remember watching it as a kid and realising I'd never actually seen this movie. In my head and in my child brain, that trailer made me, uh, with you know, you get a bit distorted memories as you get older and stuff like that, of, I'm sure I'd seen the whole movie, but I haven't. I'd never seen this until I got this a few years ago on VHS. And I'm very glad to get it as well, to be honest. I mean, look, at it. it's so 80s, it's ridiculous. Um, but there was two of us. Actually, there was three other trailers on there. I'm not going to talk about the fourth one because it wasn't a cartoon. It was so much not a cartoon that until I put Star Chaser back in the video player to look out the um, the trailers, I didn't even know it was there. I went, what the hell is this? It only had four trailers. It's um, some stupid comedy thing. Uh, I don't... Do you know what? It's so stupid and I can't remember the name of it. That's, that's just it. I'm going to not remember the name of it. So that's it. I had the two. Uh, and I was very happy with the two. I would love to have got the other ones. But finding these VHS, it's not cheap. I mean, Star Chaser on VHS, X Rental, eBay, 50 quid. You know, I was very lucky getting this one for £10 that was posted. I know it's not an X Rental box, but I can live with that. Um, but a couple of weeks ago, well, not even a couple of weeks ago, last week, we went to Blackpool. And there's a shop there called um, Obsolete Geek. I will put in some pictures now of Obsolete Geek. Because um, if you're in the Blackpool area, go and check it out. It is a proper nostalgia hit. It really is. So it's just one of those places that everyone needs to go and visit. Um, but when I was there, I walked across and I saw... Oh, getting the right way around. I saw this. Comic Quest, The Adventures of Mark Twain. Um, I didn't even know this was called Comic Quest. Um, I'm sure it was called something else in the version that I had, but apparently it's called Comic Quest. This is one of the first claymation cartoons, films. Um, if you've never seen this before, it's a little messed up. 
Um, I'm not going to give any of the plot or anything else, but this you definitely need to go and check out. It is crazy. This is the one that we did actually have, or I may have seen once on TV. I remember, because, oh, look, it's a sample cover. Um, yeah, that was amazing. It really was. To find that, never thought I'd find it. So then we're down to one. We're down to one more VHS. I know this isn't a complete set, right? I know that there's more movies in the series and more movies produced by uh, entertainment, uh, video entertainment, I think it was called. But when I talk about a set, I'm talking about the set that was the trailers to this one. So watching that over and over and over again, I really wanted all of these movies. I really did. So, yes, we're down to three. Uh, we've got three. We're down to one, I should say. So we got Comic Quest. And as I took Comic Quest off the shelf, sitting right behind it was the fourth movie. And this one, I know for a fact, I've only ever seen as the trailer. And it's The Adventures of the American Rabbit. I know nothing about this cartoon. I have never seen this before. I know nothing about that rabbit apart from what was on the intro, uh, the uh, trailer intro talking about games here aren't we um but yeah to pick that up and for that to be directly behind it these two cost me 30 pound in that shop and i was very very happy to pay that to complete this little nostalgic track uh my, my wife was there with me she was like why are you spending money on vhs and it's like well it's not just vhs i'm not just buying vhs here and this is where I want to go on a little bit of a tangent. I'm buying childhood memories. I'm buying that, you know, seven, eight-year-old kid watching that Betamax ripped off from a video shop. Um, always watching these four, well, this movie and these four trailers over and over and over again. I just... I did. I, I sat there um, for a good hour. I kept taking them out of the bag and just looking at them. Uh, I've not had a chance to actually sit down and watch these yet. I have tested them. They both do work. Um, let's see the back of this one. So, do you remember The Adventures of the American Rabbit? I just I generally no nothing apart from the trailer. But this makes me so happy. The, these are just obsolete bits of tech. I can watch these movies probably on youtube or stream them or something like that but to have all four of them here on vhs i can't explain how happy this makes me feel it really does um there's just nothing else i can really say about it apart from nostalgia is a powerful drug Nostalgia is a very, very powerful drug. And the good thing is, everyone's nostalgia is going to be different. So, yeah, bit of a question to you. What nostalgic things have you got that other people probably wouldn't understand, but are personal and nostalgic to you? Because these four videos here are very nostalgic to me. I, I, I'm back sitting in my, my bedroom at my... Uh, my mum and dad's house where the TV was screwed on high up the wall. The video player was, was screwed up just underneath it so we couldn't mess with it. That was it. There was always a couldn't mess with it. The, I, I'm going to say as well, the video player we had was a Betamax. And I always remember it was a top loading Betamax. And the buttons were across the top. And there was a red one. And it was recessed a little bit. And it was the record button. And I always remember my dad saying, don't touch the red button. <laughs> don't touch it. Don't, don't record over anything that we've already stolen from the video shop. Um, and there were some buttons on the side as well, like for the channels, and we constantly keep pressing those buttons. Drive my dad round the bend, really did. Anyway, that's just a little nostalgic trip for me. It's got nothing to do with retro gaming, but, well, definitely watch this movie. Star Chaser, 100% watch this movie. Rock Lords, watch it. This Comic Quest is is messed up it really is there's a part in it if you ever watch this movie you'll know what i'm talking about and i'm actually looking forward to finding out more about the american rabbit um 
characters look a bit kiddy on that but uh hey doesn't matter it's all good and all this stemmed from the trailers of this one movie yeah anyway enough of me waffling i never know how to finish these videos but i really appreciate everyone stopping by i appreciate all the support that's been going on lately and watching the videos and sharing them and everything else uh it really does mean a lot there is more videos to come we've got some battlebot stuff coming up as well and i'm going to keep on going with the spectrum stuff because I enjoy doing the Spectrum videos and the live videos and everything else. But, again, enough waffle. I will catch you all again next time. Bye.